All right, guys, so this is what I have for breakfast usually. Mm -hmm. Just like four eggs, this is the hotel breakfast. Four eggs, um, mushrooms and vegetables, bacon, whole plate of fruit, kiwis, oranges, pears, pineapples, applesauce, and orange juice. So that's gonna be my breakfast for today. Oh, thank you. Oh, and I'm eating with my mom and my dad. Um, Say hi. Hi there. <laughs> hi there. <laughs> <laughs> and then my sister who you saw, so. My brother's still in the shower. All right, and then so I know that you guys are probably gonna ask too about how my diet's going while well, I've been traveling around Germany and how it's gonna go when I'm traveling around Italy. And I'm, I'm gonna just be honest with you, it's gonna be pretty bad. I'm gonna be cheating a lot, a lot of Italian meals. I'm gonna eat ice cream, do that kind of stuff. But whenever there's healthy options, like for breakfast today, I'm gonna have a ton of fruit, you know, eggs and just good protein. So I'm still gonna try to eat healthier, but I'm not gonna stick to my usual meal plan that I've been doing for the last like two or three months. Big Mike's in the house. Mike. Oh, nice. Maybe he's not in the house. He's not happy because I think I woke him up this morning. What's up guys, so we just got done exploring around Venice. It was pretty cool, I really like the city. Um, so now we're doing a little like, kind of like rest time before we go out to dinner later tonight. And in the place that we're staying, there's a little courtyard. It's really small, but there's enough space to do a little bit of technical drills. So um, I'm gonna go out and with my brother and my sister. My sister's gonna film and my brother's gonna just kind of act as like my trainer a little bit. And I'm just gonna put you guys through some drills. And again, like I always talk about, you don't need a full field, you don't need all the space, you don't need pristine conditions to train. It's all about just getting out there, finding some space and doing it. Like you'll see when we go out to the courtyard, it's tiny, it's super small, but it works, especially when you're traveling or when you just don't have a, uh, a good field. So, I'll see you guys out there. Emily, are you excited to go train? <laughs> So what I'm doing is I'm just shuffling through the cones or the shoes, leading with my front foot, stepping high knees once I get to the end. I'm hitting it back with the instep of my outside leg. So on this side, hitting it back with the right foot, on the other side with the left foot. And I'm just doing basically 10 passes with each leg, three sets of that. And my rest is about like 20 seconds, 30 seconds between each set. And then once I do three sets, I'm going to do three sets with the laces. So some keys to focus on when you're doing this is every single time you hit back the ball, it should be right back to your partner in the same spot, right in the center of his chest every single time. If the ball, if he has to like just go over here, jump up, go down and pick it up, that's not good. Every single time, he want it right back to his hands so he can just lay it off for you again.
Okay, my turn. So the next thing I, what I did is double touch. So you just saw double touch with the inside of the foot and I basically same thing, shovel through, come out to the edge, tap it up to yourself. And when you tap it up to yourself, don't step back down with that foot, keep it up, a little slight tap and then hit it right back. I do only five on each side for two sets. Whew, I'm out of breath. and quick foot work drill as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come forward to the four first cone. I'm gonna pass, do a one touch pass. My brother's standing five yards on the other side. Play the ball on, I'm gonna do a one put, touch pass with the outside foot. Come back, I'm gonna do quick feet through the cones or the, the shoes. When I come back out, same thing. The ball's gonna come back to me again. And this time out, outside foot with instep. Go back and I'm gonna do three passes on each foot and that's a set, I'm gonna do five sets. Got in trouble from one of the people up here. So we have to stop training, but that's fine. I mean, sometimes it happens. We'll just go upstairs and I got something it was good like 20, 30 minute workout. So whatever, you win some, you lose some. So like I said, when we were out there, I was just playing, we we're doing the drills and then some lady came and opened her window and in like Italian, she was like, no joka, no joka, which I knew was like no playing out here. and. I was like, why not? And then she said, uh, just because it was like a garden uh, and it's private. I'm like, well, we are staying right up there. We're living there. And she's like, no, it doesn't matter. Like you can't play there. Um, but still, I mean, you got like a 30 minute, 30 minute workout in, it's okay. But yeah, like I said, you win some, you lose some. Sometimes like you're gonna get kicked out. I've been kicked out of tons of fields and parks and places where I think is a good training place. And someone says I can't play there. But I mean, all they can say is that you just need to leave and it's not that bad. So, but still this, that was better than nothing. So I'm happy about that.